Hello there guys, my name is Jagan P. Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of the Space Engineer Spotlight! Um, I don't I don't even know what just happened then. Um, anyway, um, what we're actually looking at today is something that is very, very different and something I haven't really seen a lot of yet. I keep seeing military bases, missile silos, uh, hangar bays and stuff like that that are built on planets. But I haven't yet come across a villa or something that is designed to just... Be livable it's it's just a lovely space to, to chill out in so what we're looking at today is called the villa bellevue by a guy called pit o u o f z e 62 that is a mouthful jesus christ how the hell do you even say that nobody knows but uh, either way this guy did an absolutely fantastic job in making something that looks you know just very futuristic and beautiful i mean look at the landscape that this thing is on it's completely ridiculous only really accessible by the uh just by you know flight but i really do love the design and just how high it up uh, how high up it is you know what i mean it's just absolutely gorgeous and look at this landscape around us as well it's freaking beautiful so this thing is on a few different layers as you have already noticed but what we can do is we're going to start off at the top and we're going to work our way down so, first things first, we're going to start off here, I think, which is just a walkway onto this section. Now, this is like a walkway, and then you do have, uh, like, a grassed-off area where you walk down to the garage of sorts that is down there. But we will come up here first, and it's very nicely glassed off so you don't fall, but also so you can actually still see what's going on outside. And then we come to the first landing area. So, this section has four lights around it, and then we have some more floor lights which enable us to uh, turn them on and off, and we can make it so it's visible at night time so uh, ships can actually land in the dock which is really cool because first person landing in this game is uh, is getting quite quite difficult now because uh, it's just you don't know when you're going to hit the floor so uh, it's quite scary but it'd be, it's quite nice that you've got all these lights and you can turn all these lights on and off um, there we go so that's a, the button to do that and then we can also shut these doors that slide closed really nicely look at this I love these now these are just the uh, the glass bridge mod it's just been turned on its side and used as a doorway which I think is a really good idea and he's used it a lot more throughout this build so let's turn those lights off and let's carry on so coming through here we have this wonderful uh, like massive living room and it just looks so open and airy and light and just gorgeous i, I love this room this is the favorite room and it's it is like the centerpiece of this main build so We've got like a nice fish tank sort of a uh, LCD screen here, which is quite nice using one of the mods. And we also have some Ecclesters, uh plant pots and chairs, which really do set off with the reds as well. They look really nice with the white. And um, we have like a, a few coffee tables here as well that we can, you know, we can chill at these seats and just uh, enjoy this. This is more like a party room in all fairness, like a large meeting room or, or large uh, living room where people would come if you were to have guests over and stuff. It's really, really cool. We even have this floating ship, which I really love. Um, just having this here just really does make it look a lot better and it adds a bit of a centerpiece to this room, which is nice. I, I do think it could be a bit higher maybe or maybe the build be a bit bigger. Maybe have a planet one that you could uh, swap out. So maybe have another projector underneath this and have like a planet that you can, you know, you can turn them on and off. That'd be really cool. But either way, that is a good idea and I like that idea. Now, coming outside we do have a balcony which uh, does have these quite high uh, well these are just glass windows and it would be cool if these were a bit lower if there were a mod for having half glass that'd be cool but um Either way, I do like this because it's again it's very open and it's very much good for parties if you were to have uh, people round and things like that. And you can just see everything that's going on down there. And well, there's not a lot going on down there, but you can just see what you know. You can just see things. It's just lovely. It's just such a lovely place to look at. So. Coming back through here, uh, we do have doors that close, um, which are here, the three of them. And if I go back into the tab menu, we do have uh, the lights for the penthouse in here, which get turned off. And you do get a lovely shadow in DX11 of the uh, the actual ship spinning, which is cool. And uh, then what we also have is the doors that close. We have the lights on the main terrace to turn on and off. And then we have this button here, which I'm still unsure what it does. Um, oh, it's the preview. So it's actually that preview in there. So that, that should turn this off. Yep, 
So that turns off the preview in the middle if you were to uh, not want it on for whatever reason. So that's really cool. I really like this room. It's massive and against airy and it's the, the shape is really, really nice. Coming on through, where I haven't really explored too much of, we do have uh, lovely uh, just roof lights and stuff and just uh, just all these windows. It's so pretty. And uh, we'll go up there in a second because there is uh, like a bit of a hanger up there. But we do have like a, I don't know, like a, um, an entertainment room. We have some watching areas where you can actually just watch out over the views. And we also have some uh, snooker or pool tables, whichever one I don't play, so I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so come around here, we've got another coffee table and another view of one of the ships that is tucked around there. We will have a look at that in a bit. Not too much detail though because, of course, this is the main build we're looking at we're not looking at the ships in this world so we'll open up this door which is to the private living quarters which is a nice sectioned off module for probably the person who lives here um, which is really nice to see that come down shut off and you know you just you can see everyone and they can't see you now it's great so coming through here we've got a nice sort of open area not a lot in here at the moment not a lot of furniture but then we do have a meeting room, which is a small ship attached to a rotor, I'm guessing, to keep the attachment. But this is really nice, being able to have this seating area for, you know, uh, members of staff and things if you were to run a business or whatever. So that's really cool. And then we do have another door here. So let's uh, open that up and see what's going on. So we have a uh, balcony. There we go. So we can then go into the glass bridge sort of thing see some of the other ships down there that look really cool and uh this is just like a private landing area i'm guessing or just like a private party section or where you'd come with your you know your, again you're like business members and stuff i don't know but uh yeah so let's just head on through again what, what other buttons we got here uh dinner rooms we can actually turn off the lights in here if you want to um or can we i think so i did something either way <laughs> so uh that's oh there we go i hit the wrong button there we go so we turn them back on again so i do think this room is a little bit plain and i think he does still need to put a bit of work into figuring out what to put in here maybe have like some office space that you can utilize if you're a guest i don't know something like that maybe um coming on down here we then have a nice fish tank sort of looking thing here lovely glass separating everything off more fish tanks and what is this? Jesus Christ, where are we going? I think we're actually in the lower decks of the uh, the area now, aren't we? Are we? No, I don't think. I don't know. We've gone down either way. So, by the looks of it, we have some bedroom here, areas here. So, if we were to open this up. Oh, we have like a private living room. Damn, son, this is cool. Let's turn on some lights. It's pretty dark in here. Uh, here we go. Let's have some lights. We've got some lovely scenery here to, to watch. Maybe put some Netflix and chill on. I don't know. And uh, yeah, we have another lovely view, another lovely view of just the, the general panoramic, or whatever you want to call it. So let's head back through. And let's go around here because I know we missed out on a few rooms. Um, we've got three rooms in total, I think, to look through. So we have a conference room, stairs, this door for the bedroom and then this one for this one so what is in here um it's quite dark isn't it here we go light switch um that one all right so we have a med bay in here and just some beds so if you were to be injured you can actually lie in here so it does have some practical uses as well uh this room just like a just another bedroom area it's like a very open plan bedroom living area um, you do have another balcony, which is nothing really important. Uh, let's head back through and go through here. And then we have another meeting area. So this is the other meeting area. And look at that. This is like a proper strategic area. And um, we have a ship layout here, uh, just spinning around the middle of this. That's really cool. I like that a lot. And again, the views just really do make, make this build 10 times better. So let us... Um, we've been through all these rooms. We haven't been through this room yet, which I'm guessing leads outside. Um, or is this just a... This is weird. What is this? Um, we have exterior door. Ah, 
So I have a bit of a maintenance hatch here, so if you were to want to come out and do some underside repairs or add on to the ship, you can. So it's actually brought into into light what if you didn't have a jetpack and you just wanted to walk out there on that specific area and build something. You can. Awesome. So let's close up these doors and let's head back up those stairs and we'll uh, go and see what that ship is all about and have a bit of a play around with it, I think. Uh, where are we going? Up, up, up. Getting very dizzy up these stairs, my god. Uh, this way. Um, ah, I need to open this door again because we've closed it. Let's open this door up. And then let's go over here. This place is huge. There's a lot, a lot of work gone into this. Really, really loving it. So we do have lights for the landing pad, which turn on and off. Uh, we have main hall lights and the main door. And this is the main door. Now it is bigger than other doors, so you can get cargo in and stuff. But look at this ship. I like this ship a lot. Being as a lot of this does have vanilla in, it's just got only a few mods. This is really cool. I really do like this. It's even got some turrets on there. So this is a bit of a fighter, a bit of a brawler. Awesome. This is so cool. And again, just the practicality of this ship seems pretty cool. So let's, let's jump in and give it a go. Let's hit Y. Let's detach. And uh, uh, try and fly. Maybe. Do I need to turn some stuff on and off? I don't particularly know. Ah, the power usage is overloading right now because we don't have batteries on. There we go. So you have to turn the batteries on, so it is kind of in like a standby mode. We do have quite a bit of thrust on this as well, which is quite nice. It does move quite well. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a nice little ship to have, really. So by the looks of it, this is maybe like a general's house or something, I don't know. Um, like an important senator maybe that is here on business and this is what he uses to bring in his clients and stuff I don't know I'm just going a bit overboard with the descriptions now but let's go and see what was downstairs because of course we've still got all that downstairs section to uh, look at so let's open up this door and we'll head back down this staircase and uh, we'll have a bit of a jumpy detour over here and then of course we'll head down here which is to like the garage section where he's got I'm presuming sports car flying ships I'm guessing that's what he's gonna call them yeah look at this thing it's got like oh my god this thing is cool what is this this is weird this is a lot weird this is a drone by the looks of things we have a button here um, so this is a drone that you can fly a fighter drone maybe got a lot of thrust a lot of power and you can that's i like how he's put the wheels on there so it doesn't damage too much that's pretty cool i do like some of the ships in this it's quite compact and he's done a really good job with some of the space on the ships so we've got a bit of a weird al like alleyway corridor thing here um a bit of wasted space back there it would be nice if we could i don't, I don't know what's, what's actually through here that's the question so i'll uh, open this door up Ooh, shiny so by the looks of it this is the power section of the ship this is where he's uh, oh my god it's his secret layer look at this thing holy shit balls this is his freaking layer this is where he would plan everything and he's got oh my god that is freaking banging that look at that that is amazing this is like his humble abode for secret things that's really cool and then we do have doors here we have double doors because of uh, radiation from reactors and we can go in and perform maintenance on the reactor which is actually tucked away back there that isn't turned on i just i just realized that is this actually being powered all by the uh thing yeah, that's pretty cool so what's this okay so that turns on that which is cool it turns on the main reactor but by the looks of it this thing is powered mostly by solar so this would only get turned on when needed if you really did need it so what we got here now we actually have like a bit of a, an elevator thing, which is a bit of a drop. You have to use your jetpack. Uh, but it's quite a quick access. You can get, you know, there and back. I do think that's a bit of a wasted space. I don't know why it's there. But, uh, yeah, whoa, look at that view. It's right the way down. Jesus. It's scary. But, uh, let's go through here. Detention center. Okay, this got weird. Um, let's go through here. And this is like holding cells, maybe, for bad people. This is turning into a prison ever so slowly. 
We got cameras in here as well. So if we were to find any fugitives, we could lock them away and have custom built detention center. That's some kinky shit that is. All right, so what we're doing is gonna go through here and another drop. What do these actually do? Okay, those are like lights. Let's, let's jump down. We're going through again. Um, falling. I do think maybe not fall because it'd be nice not to, but there seems to be a piston here anyway, so I'm guessing that's an elevator. Yeah, there are elevators. There we go. So you don't just fall. You actually use an elevator. I'm just being stupid. So coming down here, we've got a large hangar bay access area and we have a door here. What's, what's in the door? Open the door. Eh. Yeah, just access outside. That's cool. We have another ship, which does look, again, very nice. Colors used in this are quite cool. And the tail section is quite nice as well. Look at that. I like how he's got that. And he's, it's really cool. I like this. I like some of the ships people keep making. They're really cool. So what we need to turn on here is uh, some engines, but I can't seem to find them. Um, let's turn on. Let's go reactor let's turn all these on there we go so now we have power here we go so this thing is okay at flying i guess a little bit slow going up and down but not too bad doesn't really stop that quickly either it's a bit scary but i like i do actually like this ship quite a bit though i like the colors used like the khaki colors quite nice i turn everything off he even has quite a large arsenal of rockets as well, which is always handy. You never know when you're going to need a rocket. And we'll come over to this door. I'm guessing there's another one, because I did see another one. Yep. So this is the same craft against. These are just like his personal fighters that are here just to defend. He has actually changed the back section up a little bit to incorporate a few more thrusters, which is nice to have a bit of variation. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. This place is... Awesome. I, I have been everywhere. I, I know I have been because there's not a lot more. Well, I, I remember going everywhere now. So I haven't. This is probably the first build I haven't forgot a room in, which is good. So that has been it, guys. Hopefully this has showed you more to space engineers than you actually think. You don't need to be building these complicated, large vessels that do your groceries. You can, you know, you can actually build something that is just for you know maybe military use and maybe as well just general human purpose so houses because they're planets and you can live on them that's really i really like this idea so hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you have please like favorite and of course subscribe for more go and check out the survival that started on monday and i will see you guys in friday's video peace <laughs>